Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has been sworn in as the 17th president of the Philippines. Mr. Marcos won last month's election by a landslide and he secured the biggest victory since his father was ousted by a popular revolt more than 30 years ago. Security has been beefed up across the capital as hundreds of activists have gathered to protest against the inauguration. Bernabono has more. We're here at the Plaza Miranda where an anti-government protest, one of many nationwide, is ongoing. Protesters here are rejecting the leadership of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos a Jr., citing the human rights record of his dictator father, the former Philippine President Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr., who ruled the Philippines for 21 years, 14 years of which were under martial law, marred by widespread human rights violations and the torture of thousands of dissidents. We spoke to Mr. Saturo Campo, a former legislator and activist who was here, who said that the first step for national healing is for President Marcos Jr. to acknowledge the atrocities of martial law and apologize for them. Protesters here have been chanting uh, in Filipino, saying Marcos Duterte, they're both the same, an apparent reference to the perceived populist politics and authoritarian style of leadership linked to the two surnames. Now, over 15,000 uniformed personnel have been deployed to uh, assure, ensure the security here in this area as well as in the perimeter around the National Museum, which is the venue of the inauguration today. Uh, that 15,000 already includes members of the Philippine Coast Guard, the police, fire marshals, uh, even health officials and other force multipliers. We are also told that there is a mobile jail set up for any possible rowdy uh, protesters uh, during the duration of the inauguration. Now, among the dignitaries uh, attending the inauguration are the Vice President of the People's Republic of China, the Vice President of Vietnam, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, as well as the Second Gentleman of the United States, who is leading a delegation that includes um, uh, the sole Filipino, uh, the sole Congressman of uh, the United States of Filipino descent. Earlier in the morning, before the oath-taking, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. met with his predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte, at the presidential palace Malacanang before heading to the National Museum. In the afternoon, cabinet ministers who have already been named will take their oath of office and in the evening, a reception dinner is expected. Now, Mr. Marcos Jr. has yet to name crucial posts, including the Secretary of Health and the Minister of Foreign Affairs as he enters his first week of office. Buena Bernal, CNA, Manila.